Oh, shoot. Okay, so. Y'all, we got a channel message. He got a channel message. Because, listen. Somebody finna hit that rich flag. Somebody finna be rich. And you been having a, you know, a lot of that good energy, you know? So somebody finna be rich. We didn't have, you know, a reading so far today about stability and things of that nature. And then we had a shooting star come out too. But this is just a rich flex. Like, somebody finna flex. Somebody finna be rich. And that Drake rich flex could be very significant. So, some people could have been talking slick. And somebody like, <laughs> you hoes, all of you hoes, you need to remember who you're talking to. This is all the gang CEO. feel like he don't know who you talking to who just flew across my mind is I'm rich bitch I'm a real big star so somebody finna be rich or somebody is rich yeah this gonna happen in the distant horizons here so somebody is gonna be rich and then they can expect this to occur And somebody going to be in a crib that's going to be gated. Wealthy man. It's a man. It's a wealthy man. Finna have a crib with the gate. Somebody going to have a crib like a castle. They house going to have a special design too. This is what they expecting too. So this is what they expecting to happen in the distant horizon. I'm rich, bitch. I'm a real big timer. So this a wealthy day. <laughs> this 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 a wealthy day right here. This is what these messages is popping out for men and for women. So we got a wealthy man coming through. Look, Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune. Yeah. I'm rich, bitch. I'm a real big time. Can we get one for the distant horizons, please? Listen, they standing on this belief that they finna be rich in the future. Look, they got their independence. They like, I'm gonna be prosperous. They in the garden now. They in the garden. Working on their fruits and veggies. They trying to, they trying to dominate that competition too. I've seen the five of wands. But yeah, somebody standing on their ground. You know what I'm saying? To them being rich in the future. Okay? It's not very solid at this time. Cause you know the anchor is floating in the air it's not but somebody like shit you know what i'm getting somebody is on some magical shit look at the devil <laughs> somebody on some magical shit because this boat that this ship is floating in the air with this anchor floating in the air you know what i'm saying so somebody's not grounded but Somebody might be doing some, you know, somebody might be working with the devil to become a wealthy man. Because it's a number 13 right above there. Somebody could be on some Babylonian shit trying to build up a tower on their own. What just flew across my mind is the Tower of Bell. So somebody could be working with the devil. Somebody called, somebody called in the devil. <laughs> 
teamed up and work with somebody got backstabbed and betrayed in the house completely ruined i don't know somebody might have to work work hard and be committed to become a wealthy man instead of uh you know messing with old loose but somebody got played but that's what somebody did they, they called in they called it so sorry for laughing but the way somebody tried to call him Lucy Lou and thought that Lucy Lou was going to fall through or even if Lucy Lou did fall through he betrayed <laughs> he betrayed them and I'm only laughing because you see all it's like there's no excuse you see all of the stories the shit is even written that the devil is not stronger than the almighty Yahweh. And people still decide to side with and call on the damn devil. So that's the only reason why I'm laughing. Because somebody was really expecting this in the distant horizons. And all they got met with was attacks with who they was teaming up with and got betrayed and backstabbed and completely ruined. And now they have to work extra hard to become this wealthy man. The devil betrayed somebody and uh they they really did call him in and you know that's why I was like what he what can you do something for me can you talk to the option and the devil was like yeah I got you and this person was really in their ego like you hoes all of you hoes they thought they was with slaughter gang and got slaughtered <laughs> no and it was probably like oh rich bitch i'm a real big time and look the emperor bird and like <laughs> success or you know the stability and the uh, security it was at the nine of pentacles you know working on their independence and things of that nature and their security okay but they didn't have enough discipline um not enough patience 
It means decide to call and work with the most high. So now they're overburdened and the weight is all on their shoulders and they're overloaded and they're struggling and they're stressed out and they're burnt out. And they have a lot of worries and shit slowing up here. was arrogant. Look at this. The emperor yet again. Uh, the knight of wands in reverse. Arrogant, reckless, hyperactive, show off, impatient, just like I said. All wish-washy and shit. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yeah, they decided to a devil magician. Yeah. That's what they decided to do. to be able to overcome and rise above and they're gonna have to survive this disaster and learn from the past okay so that they can move upward they really need to connect with the most high so that they can awaken spiritually and emotionally uh, so that they can receive joy and blessings they need to offer emotionally to the most high knight of cups and not be trying to make no offers up to oh lucy lou because oh, lucy lou got their ass we got failure, no recognition or rewards, bad news, egotistical. Somebody was being a follower. I'm about to get the shuffle, y'all. I just keep splitting the deck and just keep, just keep on. It just keep on lining up. Yeah, somebody need to commit to the most high here. You got the ten of swords. Double the ten of swords. Somebody got double. Man. Somebody got 20 swords stuck in their ass. Yeah, so now somebody could be, you know, somebody didn't have... Somebody was just overworking, overworking, overspending. It could be a lot of debt, um, you know, a lot of insecurity surrounding their finances. They had a lot, a lack of motivation, so they just called in. They called in Lucy. blind inability to see that who they were teaming up with whether it was or whether they actually called in lucy or they actually teamed up and worked with a bunch of people in double energy they had divided loyalty they wasn't loyal to the light at all and they was that's, all, that's why they was blind inability to see this person was in denial about it Dang, I thought this was going to be a good one because all of them, you know, there's been a lot of wealth, you know, going on out here. <clears throat> yeah, a queen of pentacles. So this individual could have been um, with the queen of pentacles or they could have caught on the queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles could have been in devil energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they can have this highly affected within their chart. It's a witch here. Could be a witch, somebody that owned a business who is real. This individual could have kids. Uh, this individual could have high social status, but this individual betrayed this person, backstabbed. Yep, ten of swords again, so this person got rocked. Or it could have been somebody that they could have been with. Look, eight of swords, mentally entrapped. It's a crisis. Crisis, a lot of confusion. I just found the seven of cups. Yeah, somebody feel mentally entrapped here. It's a crisis. Damn. Let's pull from this. Who's that good business, bad business deck at? Okay, here we go. Let's 
see what went on. Good business, bad business. Oh man, I'm just about to die. This one I'm about to die. Let me hurry up. What went on with this good business, bad business? Not enough exposure. Yeah, somebody needs to work on their uh, good advertisement and marketing. Somebody overstocked or overly got some things or overly did some things with the devil. So slow motion here. Somebody needs to take up a business course. That'll help them out better. Go to school instead of working with the devil. And somebody also had rude customer service. So somebody was rude. Or this person that owns this business. Or Queen of Pentacles could have did this and was working with a wealthy man. Either way it goes, just take it how it go. Yeah, somebody could uh, own a local business or uh, worldwide. Somebody could also be popular. So what occurred was there was not enough exposure. Things were overstocked and motion got slowed down. And this individual had rude customer service. But what can work out is if you do some good advertisement, marketing, some business courses, um, <clears throat> and maybe you would be more popular and then local and worldwide, you know? Instead of calling on Lucy. Somebody was also too trusting. So somebody trusted somebody way too much. So somebody's shit getting shut down. So that's not always a bad thing. You may need to shut down to you know, revitalize. Too many returns, low quality product. Go back to the drawing board. Okay, if you do that, you can end up selling out and doing numbers. Oh, the reason why too, your shit was fucked because you tried to ruin someone else to get ahead and you did insurance fraud and you would sell out and you sold your soul. And you cannot, listen, you can't be trusted. And whoever you worked with or teamed up with, you cannot trust them. This person is a sellout. Somebody sold their soul. Somebody did insurance fraud. Somebody tried to ruin somebody else to get ahead. That's why they shit getting shut down. So, see, mm -mm. see what happens when you work with the devil. All is red. But you need to repent. Pray to the Most High Yahweh. Repent with a pure heart. In the open heart, okay, you need to repent and then get your ass on a good foot so that you can sell out, do numbers, take you a business course, do some good advertisement and marketing, and then you can go from local to worldwide or something. But all of this other shit, working with the devil, no exposure, overstock, slow motion, rude customer service, you was being too trusting. Uh, too many returns, low quality product, go back to the drawing board. That's why shit getting shut down. You tried to ruin somebody else to get ahead. That never worked. You did insurance fraud too, so that'll get you fucked up and put in jail. And then you sold out. You would sell out and you sold your soul to the fucking devil. Even though it ain't even yours to sell. So. Damn. Really, whoever y'all was trying to ruin, <laughs> they the one who can say, you hoes, all of you hoes, need to remember who y'all talking to, it's the Slaughter Gang CEO, cause that shit, now shit getting shut down, that's who the real Slaughter Gang is. messages please yep it's not a marathon slow and steady take it slow and steady yeah jealousy and envy okay so yeah that, that that jealousy and envy not needs to be taken lightly because somebody was jealous and envious and look what they did they called on lucy somebody was jealous and envious and called on lucy so don't take that lightly yeah, try to put roadblocks in somebody's way. 
And that's why they got, they got, they didn't get blocked. They got shut down. Yep, because look, you got Elohim, the holy place. Somebody was messing with spirit. Somebody got the soul of spirit that somebody was trying to go up against. Somebody is beauty, love, and justice. So justice came in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can't, you won't make it to the next level holding on the bullshit. You bound to yourself. So somebody bound themselves to the devil. And you got to pay the ticket. It's payday. Cain and Abel. So this is some Cain and Abel shit. Don't underestimate Satan. He is cold not stronger than the most high but you can be fooled easily especially without knowledge and understanding so somebody didn't have the knowledge and understanding that they need so satan real cold and slick so satan made somebody believe a lie again <laughs> fuck somebody over somebody a much too it says if we locked in ain't no switching up so if you loyal to the most high the most high be loyal to you and the thing is you was loyal to you was locked in with the devil if we locked in ain't no switching up loyal to everything and everybody but who created you in love with the creation and was munching getting fucked over didn't think you'll notice somebody did notice somebody knew you was working with the get oh look who noticed yahweh You hoes, all of you hoes, need to remember who y'all talking to. <laughs> y'all ain't seen your ass. You ain't think the most high would notice what the most high noticed. Spirit noticed. Spirit got the intelligence, knowledge, and wisdom. You thought you can outsmart the most high? You hoes, all of you hoes, need to remember who y'all talking to. It says here, you looking here, you looking there, but it's within you. He just within you. You try to look for the devil, work with a queen of pentacles, work with a wealthy man. You looking everywhere, but right within you. And that's why your ass got shut down. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. The ugly part is you when healing. So you need to heal. And you need to shed those ugly parts of yourself, your old ways of thinking, so that the healing and correcting can be done. So you need to connect. It won't be all sunshines and rainbows, but it's going to get you to where you need to get to. It's going to get ugly, but don't give up. Don't give up. So if you is trying to turn a new leaf and heal and do the right thing, because again, working hard to, you know, become that millionaire. You feel me? That's what you need to do. Don't give up. It's going to get ugly, but you got to go through it. And you got to pay the piper, you know? It's a love story. This is a love story. Yahweh is creation. This is a love story. He loves you. So what he does is come and rescue that woman. So you, you got bounded by, by, by the devil. So whether you're a male or a female, he's going to come in and, and rescue you if you open to it. But if you're not, mm, it says, what about the message? So you could be hearing messages, but you chasing the messenger instead of chasing the message and what's being said to you. That's another uh, trick of the devil. That's another trick of old loose. Yeah, you focus on the old. So you in the physical and we in a new age, spiritual. This is the spiritual age, the age of grace. So you can have divine mercy if you're open to it. But you, you, yeah, you, got, you, you got jacked up physical that shows that's the type and shadow so when you see physical things this is spiritual so you may see material and physical things but these things point out something spiritually and it's all about the most high yahweh so you need some intercourse this is you don't need to be munching on that other shit you munching on you need to munch on that spiritual understanding and get that romance with the most high so everything can work out better for you sorry i'm talking fast because this phone about to die so we got to stand still. If you leave it alone long enough, Yahweh will take care of it. Get out the way. So Yahweh will take care of whatever you got yourself tied into. If you be open to him, repent, pray, and work on your healing. And, you know, start having that intercourse here. And you can stand still, get out the way, and he'll handle the devil. And or whoever y'all was trying to fuck with stood still and got and they got out the way. And that's why y'all ass got handled. Shit, but either way, 
you know, take the information that you need so that you can be on a better and good foot. It ain't got to be the end of you because some green and some positive business had came out. It's just about you getting on a good foot and headed towards the light instead of fucking around in the dark like that because you don't even know what you're doing. You don't even understand it. That's why you need that spiritual understanding. You're fucking around in the dark and don't even know what you're fucking with. So just like the Most High said, you hoes, all of you hoes, you need to remember who y'all talking to. Put some respect on that man. He created you. He created all of this. He created the devil. Put some respect on that man. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to go on and let's see. We're going to go on and end this right here. Y'all need to surrender forgiveness. So y'all need to seek that forgiveness. Y'all need to be patient. It may get lonely, but that's what you need to do. You need to be alone so that you can hear the most high. And know that you are never alone because the most high is always there. You need to have patience and accept that everything happens in divine order. And don't call on the devil for bullshit. We got forgiveness. You need to acknowledge the harbor and resentment that you have. And your self-esteem okay so because you possess the gifts of the soul that can benefit and help others too as well you need to accept things or learn to accept things that you cannot change and pride is the devil so you need to love yourself and see yourself in everyone instead of trying to be over somebody and be on some devilish shit get out of get, get out of your pride and call on the most high okay we have abundance i am a limitless being I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. But you need to, there's laws, man. Y'all can't just be fucking doing anything and then trying to fuck somebody else over and thought that he just gonna let that shit roll. So get out your ego, get out that pride so that you can have abundance. And it can be with a solid foundation, see? You was working with the devil and calling on Lucy Lou. That foundation was raggedy and you got shut down. Solid foundation with the most high. Then can't nothing come up against you but him. And he the only gonna come up against you when you fucking around. You know what I'm saying? So, because he's fair and just. The law of truth. This is the truth here. You need to love unconditionally and create some more healthier boundaries here. The law of karma, because that ass is getting karma for what you did. And the law of attraction, you attracted this shit to you. So now it's time for you to attract something better. Attract you some good karma. Because you could be getting called to something higher here. And the law of pure potential. See, you got potential in everything. And that's why that green came out with that good business. Because you got potential. You just went about it the wrong way. So, let's get, let's get some music real quick. That can be significant here. And then we're going to get a grateful heart message. Here we got Lundrell self-care package. Use it to that full. Tupac, Fortune, and Fame. We got Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac. <laughs> you return to whoever you was working with like you lied to me. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to get out of here, y'all. Hold on. Oh, man, we got Tim's uh, future featuring Tim's and Drake. Wait for you. So the most high waiting for you. I will wait for you, for you. It don't matter what time it is. Go on and connect. Tony Jones energy budget. You need to get people from around you. T uh, Tower of power. You're still a young man. Rick Ross, Santorini, Greece. Triple extension, money. Deepak Chopra, Adam Platt, the soul of healing, affirmations full. Little Boosie set it off. 
Yeah, that's what probably happened. It got set off because y'all was trying to mess with the wrong one. And Nas, if I ruled the world. So let me go ahead and get you a grateful heart message. There's always something to be grateful for, especially to get the information and be able to see what you've done, you know, so that you can correct it. And that's divine grace, that's divine mercy, and that's something to be thankful and grateful for. So can we get a grateful heart message, please? And also whoever, you know what I'm saying, they was attacking, be grateful too. Look, thanks to be Yahweh, he gives us victory through our through our Savior, Yahshua the Messiah. If life hands you lemons, make lemonade. So you should have to cultivate something else. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a, sa a shadow. Every good and perfect gift from above coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. And then we have here, the optimist says the cup is half full. The pessimist says the cup is half empty, but a child of Yahweh says my cup runneth over. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek Yahweh rejoice. So this is why whoever y'all trying, they rejoice over y'all ass. Why? Because they're a child of the Most High. Show me your ways, O Yahweh, teach me your path. So this is what you need to pray and ask for the Most High to do for you. It says here, he who dwells in the shelter of the of the Most High shall abide in, uh, shall rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So this person had rest. This person is sheltered by the Most High. And then also, is he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay. So I hope you all got a message from this read that'll be able to help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you, and I'll see you all later. Peace.